In 1996, George Taylor was one of two men hired by Paul Allen to murder his wife. Both Allen and Taylor are now serving time in prison for that murder, and today, Taylor became eligible for parole. What I would like to say to Jill's mother, Andrea, and her sister, and all of the people who love her, who miss her, is that I'm sorry. George Taylor's been in prison for nearly 25 years following the 1996 murder of Jill Allen. The murder for hire plot began like this. I want an emergency. My wife, wrong with her. On August 28, 1996, Paul Allen found his wife Jill lying in the hallway of their apartment in North Salt Lake. He thought she was still alive. Do you see any blood or any wounds or anything on her? Huh? Do you see any wounds all over her, sir? What? Are there any cut marks all over her, okay? I don't know. I haven't looked. Allen called for an ambulance, and while moving her body, he noticed she had been beaten around the head. A baseball bat was later found a few feet from her body. 24-year-old Jill Allen died from blunt force trauma to the head. Her husband was questioned. I don't like coming out here, and I'm just getting sick of it. You know, because nobody tells me much. It wasn't until a year later that Joey Wright was arrested and confessed that Paul Allen was to pay him $30,000 to kill his wife. His confession led to a second arrest, George Anthony Taylor. He said his cut was to be $10,000. In 2000, their testimony helped convict Allen, who's now serving up to life in prison. At his parole hearing, Taylor regretted his actions. I hate the fact that Jill's not here and I am. I hate the fact that I didn't have the courage to do exactly what you say, and that is not go through with that. And tell them guys that to go to hell. Jill Allen's mother and sister were also listening to Taylor's parole hearing. Tomorrow, as this story continues, what their response is to his request for freedom. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC 